Hello, everybody, and welcome to Africa. Welcome to the Serengeti, where I've moved all my studio, all the gear, all the slaves. I've got absolutely everything shipped out here to the middle of the savannah, surrounded by elephants and lions, in order to introduce you to the gentle art of scoring wildlife films. Wildlife have done over 100 films in my time, um, and it's tremendous fun, particularly if you have a passion for nature, as I do. Um, you can indulge both your passions, music and wildlife, in one um, holistic whole. Now, we're about to do a film, uh, a bit of a film I'm going to score for you, uh, uh, which was a film I did a couple of years ago about elephants. Uh, so we're better than here, surrounded by the giant, majestic um, beasts themselves to get stuck in. Now, here we have a digital performer. Take my sunglasses off so I can see the screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go. What's happening here? In the dry desert conditions. So this is the opening montage. Actually, I turned the voice over now. It's, it is very important when you're doing wildlife that you listen to the script. The reason being, sometimes you could that that shot there. It, they could be saying, oh, "What magnificent animals aren't they lovely?" Or they could be saying, "This lot have just trampled a." herd of zebra or something and they're horrible so the actual gist of which way you're supposed to be scoring the thing sometimes is more in the voiceover than it is in the pictures but this is a opening montage okay, okay so it's following uh, i'll cut to the chase for you it's it's a film which follows this uh, this woman who is studying the uh, elephants it's they get some absolutely stunning pictures and uh, it works very well, and they go through... It's all about the politics, really, in between these elephants and all the rest of it. Um, so you can see that this is what goes, and then it builds up to a, a, an opening title at about one minute. I'm not sure if we'll get that far in. Depends whether I get eaten by a cheetah, lion, or leopard in the in-between time. So meanwhile, we've got to come up with an idea. Uh, and surrounded by this amazing countryside, I am completely bereft of ideas. No, I'm not. I'm never bereft of ideas. We'll come up with something. Hang on. Uh, I'm feeling it slower. I'm feeling it slower already. I'm not feeling... Actually, I've got to start, get my start time right. I never, never start at the same time. Uh, always start a couple of seconds earlier. Oh, there we go. I, I tend to go for two seconds before. Let's just set that for uh, put 58 in there. The heat is getting to me already. Here we go. Right. That's it. So it'll start on bar two. Bar two, we're going to go to... Ah, it says 80 in there. I think it's too slow. Let's go for 90. A lot of the time, if you get the right tempo, it just falls into place a bit. The, the pictures... You're not looking to hit every cut. I used to do that first time out. I did that. Disaster. It, it, it looks ridiculous. You know, the more you write to picture, the less you actually follow the, you know, you, you, the, the fewer sync points there are. There's a lot of voiceover in this, so we're going to start with something which needs to have a kind of, it's got to have a... Okay. Um, I'm going to just go with my gut instinct on this. The other thing I'm going to try and avoid um, is being too cheesy. But given I'm doing it at speed, I for forgive me if I sort of revert to type. <laughs> it's all a bit kind of 1980s on you. I'll try not to do that, though. You see, that's the thing. Ethnic drums? Do you go with ethnic drums? No, you look for something... I'm looking for something similar but different. I'm looking for something which has got a kind of non-English feel. Whale drum, that'll do. Okay, that's a good start. Picture so I can see. There we go. Uh. OK, 
Okay, once you get this going, okay, let's get something going on on top of that. I think we need, it's got to be simple, it's got to be simple. We're not doing anything very, you know, it, this is not. That's all right. I quite like that. You see, sometimes my students will spend weeks staring at a blank sheet of paper. And the point I'm often making to them is just start, because sometimes it all comes right. I mean, it's, okay, I'm, um, oh, did I remember my headphones or did I leave them back home in England, all those thousands of miles away? No, I didn't, hang on, let me find them, where are they? Give me back my headphones. Give them back, give them back. Oh. Damn monkeys, okay. Let's get some other stuff going in here. Uh, right, I'm gonna put some more. I really like adding acoustic stuff to things, if at all possible. Even out here in the sweltering heat, it's worth it, if you possibly can. Because it just turns it from being, okay. Is that going in? One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's going in. Okay, right. Let's start putting some stuff on. Uh, here, here's a ethnic -y sort of flute. Let's see how that worked out. It normally takes a few goes before you actually get in the gist of it. No, not quite, nearly. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, okay, I'll go with all of these. Oh, no, won't go with that one. Oh, what was he doing? Sack him, get rid of him, he's useless. Okay. Are we having it straight away or on after a couple of bars? Okay, let's take the front off that. And we need to go like that. Okay, now we've got it. Okay, let's uh, turn it down a bit. Out of a reverb, prop. Hmm. Hello. Uh -huh. do, 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 do. No, we'll add. <gasps> I just breached somebody's copyright. Sorry. Uh, okay.
Okay, that's all right. Is that actually... Oh, that's a bit irritating, isn't it? Um, your first natural instinct is to start throwing African instruments in it. Boom! Here's a, here comes a talking drum. Here's a djembe. But actually, that is terribly old hat. And even working at this alarming rate, uh, I don't think it's the best idea I've ever had. But having, you know, there's a difference between scratching that rather tiresome uh, sort of uh, itch to, to, to make everything African or Indian or whatever else it is. And a better way is to make it sound interesting, to find an interesting set of sounds, which, you know, right? That sounds pretty dry and barren to me. Speed of lightning, speed of lightning. Now it's not all good, some of it's utter bilge, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna make it great by choosing the bits we like. Don't like that one, that's all right. Oh, ah! Okay, get rid of that one. All right, it's got to sit well back. Okay, well, this is going all right. It's really hot. Okay, now if we then take out the rest of this, then, then this bit at the end, that's where they start. That's where they're starting to square up to each other. So then we're going to have a slight change of direction um, at that point. Um, so this is all coming together. Right. Oh. elements are still on a bit on the loud side. Okay, right. I like this. <laughs> Maybe alone in that. <laughs> okay. this a bit. Um, let's go down to my friend ADO. Hello trolls! Here is your string library. We like trolls' string library. Uh, this is adagio uh, and adagiato and adagiato uh, agitato and you know, the whole works. Do you want a short Uh, which one we? Right, I'm going to do this on. Uh, hang on. Hang on, I'm being a, 
I'm being a bozo here, aren't I? It's the last one. Okay, one more time. Bear with me. Okay, that's good. That'll work. Uh, and now we're going to make that happen a few times. And now we're going to copy it across to the bass part. I don't think we can resist some more percussion in here at some point and it's going to come up I think where I dropped that marker in I just felt that that's where it wanted a, an uplift now the thing is particularly when you're scoring documentary uh, you've got to think about all the rest of the sound that this is an opening montage this is not uh, a there's voiceover but also they love sound they love the sound and look you know there's a fantastic shot of this huge pride of elephants coming towards you and they're kind of, you can imagine all the stuff, all that going on. You know, there's tons of that going on. So you've got to make a bit of room. There's no point in putting your big theme over the top of this uh, straight away because I don't think you're going to get heard. I think, though, there is room for something else in here, but I'm not quite sure what yet. Three. Uh, number one, say, remember to save your work which I'm obviously not doing. Ellie blog. Right. We'll use that when we get to that uplifty moment, okay? We'll do the uplifty moment next. Now there is an excellent example of how you don't have to pull around um, the, uh, the tempo necessarily in order to hit the cut. We could have gone on bar seven, down beat, but we didn't. We went on bar beat two. And that sound, that's going to sound fine. You know. No, that's something else. I must stop whistling other people's music or they will sue me. Uh, okay, right. Uh, uh, turn to the Here we go. Oh, yeah, I think that's. Bit much, bit much. Tempting, though, isn't it? Getting there, getting there, getting there. But we're going to get rid of that twinkly thing. It doesn't work. That was a beat too early, though. No, way, no getting away from that. Where is that cut? It's not really a hard cut because nothing actually has happened yet, but it's definitely not. Uh, actually, well, maybe actually what I need to do is just take this bottom, make it a little bit less le emphatic so I can scale the, ve the velocity, just take it down a bit.
Okay. There is definitely room for a more percussive moment happening in there. Um, save my work. Okay, we're going into bar 11. We want a type thing. actually quite hard these this is why you need so many different libraries sometimes very difficult to find exactly the sound you're looking for okay I'll go with that I like that uh, where's it come in I'm used to having this movie on another monitor but as I'm thousands of miles from home in the middle of the Serengeti, I'll have to put up with one monitor. Oh, the things we put up with here in the desert. We're well, not in the desert, we're in the Serengeti, in the savannah, surrounded by wild animals. Okay, that's the one. Let's put it in. You know I love step time. the off beaty thing. Yeah, I do actually. What? You don't like it. I don't care. Okay. Now, we've definitely done it with that, that particular string riff. Um, w this is the point we're going to change to something else. I'm going to make the movie a little bit smaller because I need to see what I am doing. I cannot see it. Oh, my well drum's run out of, of stream already. When did that happen? I need... Okay, they're squaring up from 11 onwards. That's, I think, where we're going to get rid of the um, that one. We're going to change it to... you trolls I'm here guy okay where are you sorry say that again oh I couldn't hear oh yes you're doing your thing there already I'm already doing it guy thanks very much trolls and Colin okay I need to add a little uh, something in here I tell you what no okay this is okay it needs something else it needs a slight Lyrical lift at bar seven. That lyrical lift, which we all needed around bar seven. Uh, there it is, okay. I 
have no idea. This is sounding horribly like that chord sequence, uh, which uh, they which goes to about 150 million songs. You know, everybody uses. It is as well, isn't it? Oh well. Look. What do you expect? I'm doing it really fast in the middle of the Serengeti, surrounded by lions and elephants. It's amazing. Anything's coming up. So what we're doing here uh, pretty much working. Okay, uh, it's just go with it, guy. Go with it. What I tend to do is I tend to play it in with an ensemble patch. and then add bits to it. <laughs> ah, of course it's part beat two, isn't it? So it hits that thing. Look, I'm getting close to thinking that we're nearly... Um, I could go on doing this all night long, but if I wait here too long, it's going to get dark and then the lions will move in. And then suddenly, whoa, that'll be me gone. But that's not going to happen because, you know, I think we're doing all right. How much have we got into this film? Here in the Serengeti. Oh, this is Namibia, actually, isn't it? Okay. Tension. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's, it's a bit rough, but it's... There'll be lots of sound there, so... Okay, well, that's the first 40 seconds of this documentary done. 40 seconds down! Only another hour to go or something, anyway. Um, hope you found that useful and entertaining. I mean, wh what I hope you take away from this is that... You don't need to massively muck about with the tempo all the time just to hit the picture. If you write intelligently and sensitively, you can do that. You don't need to hit everything. You can write with some distance between you and the picture. You must listen to the voiceover at least once <laughs> to work out what's going on and what people think, uh, you know, particularly in wildlife documentary, because it's really easy to write big lyrical music when they're saying it is all or whatever. So bear all those things in mind. Um, but if you get a chance to do uh, a wildlife film, really go for it, because I've had some of my best times doing this stuff. And you get to bring your entire studio equipment here to the middle of the Serengeti, where, with any luck, you won't get eaten by lions, like I haven't been. So, if you enjoyed this, come and join us at uh, thinkspaceeducation.com, and we can tell you more about our courses and things like that to help you come and do this in the middle of the Serengeti for a living. Good luck with you. For, good luck to you for that. Goodbye. Goodbye.